And we're back again today with an in-scales kit from City Classics. Now this is their only in-scale kit at the time, so if you like this kit and what we show you, make sure that you like the video so we can motivate them to produce more kits in in-scale, because they do have a great line in HO scale. This kit is respectively item number 401, and is the 401 Crafton Avenue in scale service station. This kit will set you back $19.98. So let's pop this bad girl open and show you what you get inside. So when you open this kit you're going to want to be very careful with the instructions as there are some parts in there which we will show you momentarily. So what you're going to get in this kit is one sprue and a loose piece of sheet styrene. This is a solid piece that's designed to be your roof. One side's a bit rough, the other side is smooth. And we'll show you the parts of this kit. Real nicely done kit, great detail work on the brickwork on the front wall there. All of the doors and windows are molded in place. You get a total of four fuel pumps. Uh, these pumps are designed to be glued back to back. That's why it looks like there's more than four. You get a soda machine right here under my finger. Again, designed to go back to back are two uh, oil can stands, light pole stands and fixtures, two different signs, and the piece in here is a overhang for the front of the building. Both sidewalls. You get a floor that goes under the building. And I really like how they beveled the edge for the garage doors for the maintenance shops. A real nice feature to have there. And another feature that I like is the back wall. The back wall is a standard brick size as compared to the front wall and side walls are a larger, more decorative brick. Really like it when they include details like that, especially for where this is going to go on the in-scale cookie cutter layout that we have, which this kit is going to be able to be seen from three different sides, front, back, and one side wall. I also like that they include the decals in this kit. So when you open the paper here, you're going to see a couple of pieces. A little white bar. That just flew all over on me. It's a bit loose and springy, uh, but that is uh, plastic. You get the black wire to make your uh, fuel hoses with. Really cool. really like that. Ample ample amount of clear sheet styrene for your windows. I like it when kits include sheet styrene compared to molded plastic. However, I think we can do two or three of these buildings with the amount of sheet styrene that they included. But, I'm not going to complain at that. Better to have more than to have not enough. The kit Instructions include a uh, blown up diagram as well as information on how to uh, assemble the kit. And you also get included decals. And, well, wait a minute here. You know, I probably could have saved myself some money had I known that the decals that were included are not the same as what is shown on the illustration. And this is the same picture that is on the website, but in fact you get really nice golf service station decals, as well as uh, a bunch of signage, your fuel can stands, signs for the interior of the uh, gas station, your exterior sign over the top of the uh, bay for your servicing stations three different bands of striping 
men and women signs for your restrooms. But how could I have saved myself some money? Well, I would have not purchased those separately. Keep in mind, if you want some billboards, because you have a billboard on your layout and you want to have a golf service station, you still might want to get these. As you can see, the two bottom ones there have the golf billboard signs, as well as just some different other fonts. Uh, longer striping if you're going to kit bash this building. And different various signs. So had I known that, I would have not purchased that separately. I would have just used the ones in here because these are really nice looking decals. Now in addition to the decals, you also get the signs at the bottom of the building or bottom of the instructions, which include a black and white interior and various different advertisement signs, services signs, and fuel price signs. The only thing I don't like about these is that the signs are all in black and white. Now they do recommend that you can color those with markers or colored pencils, but to me it just seems to be hard to cover up a color with black underneath it. The instructions also give you painting schematics which match this painting schematics for a 1960s or sorry 1939 through 1963 golf service station. Speaking of time frames, this building is going to work on your layout any time period from the 1930s all the way up through the 60s being commonplace and you can still see this type of building in service in different parts of the US. So don't hesitate to put this kit on a modern layout. So that's it for this review. Going to do a building time lapse of this kit later as we go on. You are going to need some paints. The instructions do give you general color uh, paints. If you're going to go with the golf design, you're going to need an orange, you're going to need a white, you're going to need a blue, and you're going to need a way to paint silver. That's it. If you liked the video, make sure to click the uh, like button, subscribe. That way you can see what this kit looks like when it's finished as a golf service station.